Hey guys, welcome back to pre-release survival with Skatem. Interrupting Skatem. Um, this is a special snapshot because really, since we've started this series, we have been on one single snapshot, and this time we're proud to announce we're on a new one. As new as, one. As long as we don't get on the server and things break and our FPS cut in half every time. I already tried that. It, it didn't good. happen. We're good. Okay, because yeah. that's why we didn't use the one in the middle because for whatever, for whatever reason, every time we played, we always had half the frame rates and it was really laggy and it kept dropping. But nonetheless, this is 14W17A. There's a bunch of new stuff that they added in this one, so we're going to go over all of the things really briefly that we won't see in-game. We won't talk... We'll, we'll talk less in-depth about the things we might encounter in-game, because, of course, we want to talk about them when we come into them in-game, but there's a lot of background stuff that they did this time. So, um, I'm just going to talk about the f couple really big things first that Mojang added to the snapshot, and they mentioned, and then... A couple other things that they've kind of added that we missed in the lab snapshot because we didn't have it and then a few other background things we were kind of talking about before so first of all um you can see right here this is kind of a little thing but you can order your servers now and put them in the order that you'd like which is kind of cool um you could do that before you just had to go like control shift and it was confusing and stuff but this oh. is nice well there you go i didn't even know now they made it all nice and easy i'm not going to get quite on the server yet because the i the other big thing they added was uh, they had the customizable, maybe, where was it? Creative, survival. Oh, yeah. How did you, it's how do you pretty do new world. Um, you have to go to more world options. Default, super flat, large volumes, amplified, oh, customized. Oh, type. That's it. Yeah. Um, so so I'm going to do like 100 dungeons. <laughs> they added a bunch more to this, as you can see. They added a whole bunch more to how you can customize your terrain. Um, we should make, like, a really, really rare world where it's hard to get stuff. Yeah, because th the big thing this time, I think, is you can customize the ore distribution for basically everything, including even dirt and gravel. Um, so height, vein size, rarity. You can do the structures that he was talking about, making 100 dungeons at the surface, you know. Um, customize of the terrain. Just a whole bunch more of that. You can add noise to the system, biome scale, and, and depth. Uh, there's the course they added some more presets, Waterworld, Isle Land, Caver's Delight, Mountain Madness. There's, there's four pages. Oh, wow. There's a button to randomize things. Uh, there's a whole bunch, and obviously we're not going to mess around with this because this is all single players. Oh, you're right, there is four pages. Holy Oh, you God. can turn down spawning of granite and diorite oh, yeah. and andesite. Yeah, so you oh can God. turn these down. Wow, this is a... Uh... Oh my gosh, and you can turn up spawning of diamond ore. You could make it spawn at the surface. Minimal height zero, max height. Yeah, I'm doing that. Oh my gosh. I guess I should do one too. I'm going to do one. Let's max out the ores. I'm just going to max out diamond. Just yellow in it. Um, okay. I'm just going to, just to show. Let me do... Oops. I don't know. These are all complicating things. Just adding noise to the system to how things are going to spawn. Let me go back to the first page. Um, dungeon count, 100. I'll put lava lakes everywhere. Biome size, lava oceans. Oh, like in, yep. the, like in the nether. Okay, I'm going to do... You have a randomized one, and then I'll just click on the presets really quick. But here are the basic presets. Obviously, at the top, you can see what they do. But just looking at the pictures, you can see that some of them are actually really cool. Caves of Chaos. That looks like it's got, like, a ceiling in it, almost. Um, but I'm going to use the one I created just to do it really fast. Yay! Let me just go back and make sure it's in creative. Snapshot test. Create new world. We'll go. Ho I'll go hop on it really quick. Oh, no! No, I just hit... Dang it. Hmm. I just hit randomize. <sighs> oh, and you just ruined all your presets. Okay, let's fix this. <laughs> Let you fix it, because mine's taking a really long time to load. Biome size 1, okay. <laughs> See level 63? Okay. Um, we're just going to have... It's no not loading. No gravel or dirt. Granite. Well, while it's okay. loading, let me mention the other thing that we probably are not going to see. They now yes. have world borders. Excuse me, world borders. They added a new 
block into the game technically it's a barrier block it's like a, it's an air block so it's a clear cube but it acts like a normal block so you can set borders to your world and where they are and when you get to them you just can't get past them you can punch through them in creative though but they do have the ability to set up world borders there's a command for that a bunch of bugs can fixes. like change the max and it like moves when you change the max so now if like a like hunting thing like survival games or something and the world border gets smaller so you eventually have to just be in the middle the command is world border, and you can set and center it and change it, as he just said. So, yeah, have it size in through seconds. They added a new game rule, random tick speed, and you type in a value. It allows you to determine how fast plants, crops, days go by, pigment, spawn, um, mycelium and grass grow, just things like that. So you can do random ticks in that. They added more like splash, you know, like things when you log on, it's in yellow. Now with multiplayer, very influential in its circle. and Maybe other ones we haven't seen yet. Um, so those are the four big things they added to this one. They changed a few other things. Uh, new texture for Endermites, we'll talk about in a second. They said they reverted minecarts to the way they were before 14W11A, so I'm assuming that means the acceleration thing. And then a biome one, you know how the, the end is labeled the sky, and it's been that way since forever? Back when... They wanted to change, they wanted to make the end like the sky, like the aether kind of thing. Well, they changed it to actually be the end now, which is kind of interesting. I still haven't loaded. I might have to quit this. Yeah, I, I might just stop recording. Um, I think I might have broke it because I spawned. Little and ultimate say muffins and Ola. What? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just going to stop recording because maybe it'll work then with it's so laggy. Okay, yeah, I'm going to do that then. Generated to me. Terrain okay, I can't down. get custom world generations to work. Um, I've even tried loading presets and randomized ones, and I was literally waiting like 30 seconds to a minute, and it's not loading, and it just leaves it on the screen. It says 5 FPS in the corner, and I can't close out of Minecraft. i got to go to Control Off Delete. So I'm not going to mess with that anymore. If you want to see it, go do it yourself. Or um, go to my channel. Go to his channel. Oh, yeah, he... Sorry. He, was, he started recording again while I didn't, so he got it to work with just more diamonds and dungeons. Um, I, I think I've, I just had to wait a while. I might just, at the end of the video, I'll try it again. So, a few things, other things I wanted to mention that are also upcoming features that we kind of overlooked or didn't know about because we didn't play some of the other ones. Um, is you can actually make chiseled stone brick by putting two stone brick slabs on top of each other. And you can make mossy cobblestone the same way you make mossy stone bricks, cobblestone in a vine. So, unfortunately, the only really rare stone now is the cracked stone brick. Uh, makes me mad. Um, something about mob heads? Player heads for each player's skin. Oh, player heads now show skin hat layers, but that's for like server stuff. We don't have that on here. Um, what was the other thing I wanted to mention? Oh, villagers, if they get struck by lightning, they turn into witches. That was a little thing they did. And... What else? They've done like a bunch of like little things with the mob AI. Um, yeah, one of the things that they oh, did yep. change was desert temples spawn with stained glass instead of dyed wool. Need their dungeon. And then also, in villages, you know when villages generate, they're now going to have cobblestone underneath of the gravel roads to prevent them from collapsing into caves. Oh, that's awesome. So you don't have to spend so much time clean. So if a ravine falls, the roads will actually stay built which we'll have to check that out next time we come across another one a uh, bunch of background stuff of course we know how there's a bunch of commands of course we know how Apparently, if you Billy, look okay if you're an f3 and you look at a block it tells you st stuff about it in the upper right so like mm -hmm. block minecraft stone it's minecraft stone zero the zero is like the metadata and then the model is cube stone and the variant is stone so if you look at like a piece of wool or something, it and like saplings and stuff, it's very interesting. Yeah, so they did add that in the top right hand corner. That's something they added for this pre release, whether it's permanent or it's just for the debugging of this current one. Um, oh, and they messed up wool. What do you mean? So like they for somewhere in programming, like they changed all the wool values around accidentally, I'm guessing. So like if you get shear like a green sheep it gives you like lilac wool or something like that because uh, they're okay, all just offset right by a bit okay so um yeah. of course we know how en enchanting went went over 
Okay, yes, oh, I'm... did you know that level 5, like, efficiency 5, can now appear on an item without the use of an anvil? You can oh. get it from just normal enchanting now, it's just super rare. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, I found two dungeons in the space of, like, a minute or two. Or, like, a few nice. minutes, so... I think we're good. I think it worked. We'll try the other world at the end of the video. And they, they tweak treating a little bit, trading a little bit, so we do need to make some villagers of our own. Or come across another one. Um... But yeah, that's really it. That's all that's important to us. Did you punch me, or did we die? I punched you. Um, so the other thing that I haven't mentioned yet is Endermites. Those are the new thing that we haven't really seen yet and touched on, but it's in the game now. So we'll probably run on, run into them at some point in the near future. They're retextured. Yeah, so they've been retextured, and they spawn... They have a chance when you use an Ender Pearl to teleport, or when Endermen teleports, they have a chance of spawning, and they're hostile right away. I'm not sure the damage or what they're like. I don't know anything about them other than that, so hopefully we'll run into one soon. And Endermen try to kill them so you can make easy Endermen farms. <coughs> Which is, uh, again, they're just making things break. They just make break so many things for multiplayer. Um, so you can see, last time, our goal now is we're going to run, what? What did we say we Oh yeah, I'm getting Black Wool from Shearing White Sheep. Okay, so that's just a glitch then. Yeah, they, they changed, they like offset all the wool by one and messed it up, that's a glitch. I'm sure there'll be a B patch. Yeah. Well, maybe, maybe next week. Maybe they'll just wait till next week. But anyways, we're gonna head due north, another three to 500 tiles, and then we're gonna cut back and start going to zero, zero, because this side of the map doesn't have anything that's been really useful to us because now we need to get snowy biomes and the cold biomes, and then we didn't run into any of the- Oops. What the hell? Why did you think that was a good idea? I did not. Then why'd you do it? God, I know I'm talking a lot, but come on, you could have killed me. I had like three hearts when I landed. That would have- I would have made you pull up the console and teleport me back. If you would have done that. Um, so yeah, that's what we've been doing. So. We're just hunting for biomes, and unfortunately, we ha we're, we still need some of a bunch of each, but... Maybe we'll get Extreme Hills M right here. I doubt it. No, it's not Extreme Hills M. I can't jump. Jump, jump, jump. This, Extreme Hills M is like mega, like, you'll know it when you see it. Oh, Flower Forest! A big one this time. Awesome. Take a bunch of flowers from it, then. Oh. Although, I have a bunch of tulips, like, already in my pocket, so I can just take a bunch, actually. Because you probably don't have the inventory space. Okay, I'm lagging. So... Why? I'm not lagging at all. And then I say that... Oh, I lag when the rain stops. <laughs> yeah, me too. Um, look at this wall. What this wall? makes me want... Do you see it right here to our left? Oh, wow. This makes me want to think that biome generation has been tweaked a bit. Yes. This makes I you agree. want to think that this was spammed here, and that's why we just got lagged. Yep. That was like so awesome. Are you still getting lagged? Um, no, not really. Because we've kind of already loaded it up with the new snapshot, so yeah. we kind of have to be stuck with it. I think it, it's just my lag with running the server and stuff. You can find these flowers. Ooh, we don't have these these little the little purple circle ones. We don't have any of those yet. Yeah, I'm grabbing those. Yeah, if you could grab those, I don't have the pocket space for those, but I'll just grab tulips and then the little white ones. Those are ugly anyways. They look cool in 3D. Actually, they all look pretty sweet in 3D. And you can actually grow more flowers from the bait from the two high ones. Are you by doing like? Oops. What do you mean? More like flowers. if you right click the bottom part of one of the big flowers, like the two high ones, with bone meal it spawns more. Oh, oh, oh! It like drops an item meal. with them. Oh, so you can actually farm rose bushes then? Yes. Because you can't. Okay, that makes sense because you can't get them to spawn normally, like yep. with just bone meal on grass. It just drops you the item. Okay, I'm gonna- you wanna keep heading out? Yep. Let me just grab some of these pink ones, because I only got a few pink ones from last place, I know.
That's cool. Looking at leaves, you can see some stuff. Snowy falls for grass. Check decay, decay. Oh yeah, I see. Leaves. I see what you mean by that. I wasn't even paying attention. Another freaking roof forest. I know. Th see, again, every time they add a new biome, roof forests are so common now. Jungle is just... One of my friends, he was he messaged me. He was asking about how rare ice spikes, mesas, and jungles were. Because he said he, he's literally gone to 10,000 tiles on his whole single-player world, and he can't find them. And he was, like, confused. Yeah, those are all rare. Really rare. Yeah, I'm like, those are basically the three most rare things in the serve in the game now. There's that massive jungle... We still we have not find a mo found a mushroom biome on Avius actually still. No, we haven't found one of those. We haven't found Mesa, but there is ice spikes. Yep. It's really f You're welcome for that. Did you go? Have you actually visited to it? I I discovered it. Well, we discovered it back when on dev mode when we teleported to looking for a place for Chase's town. We teleported like all the coordinates. Shh. So we knew there was one within walking distance. but Yeah, I, I went to that one. But if you've actually walked to it in single player... Yeah, I was the first one to run to that one. And then I noticed that I grabbed the wrong pickaxe and it wasn't Silk Touch and I was really pissed at myself. Especially oh, yeah, after when ice. I found Podzle, like right after what is, that. Compact ice doesn't melt, right? Isn't um, that what's Yeah, it doesn't about? melt and it looks different. So like texture And the only way to get it is from ice spikes? Yeah. When I go to negative 2,000... Yeah, we'll go to that's, that's fine. Negative. I'll meet you at negative two thousand. Sorry, headset's falling off here. Yeah, Avius has been having lag problems, kicking everybody. We removed all of our new plugins, and we might go to the host that Elden uses. MC Pro hosting, while they're like super helpful and nice and really like their customers, I just feel like ever since we bought this new server and they did their deals where they literally like sold out of servers like three times, we've never been like fully 100% of all the stuff we can use. You know what I mean? I just feel like we're always maxed out on everything. And anyways, this server for the same price as what I'm paying now, which is 25 bucks, not including the custom IP, it's like 24.95. I see swamp. I'm in grasslands. And oh, yeah, I see swamp past the grasslands. I'm already in the grasslands. Actually, yeah, I went a little too far. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm at 2,000 right now. It's right at the swamp and grasslands. Yeah. I, I um, and anyways, we wanted to move to that because we would get unlimited RAM versus the stuck at, like, 2 gigabytes of RAM right now, and then we could have unlimited players so we could raise the amount, and it has unlimited data storage. So even though we kind of have that already, basically as much memory and energy as we need to run our server we can ask for whatever much we need as long as we use it do you see me i don't see you i'm right here oh, there you i see you now all right let's so basically straight west straight west until we get this down to zero or 500 okay. although it is it's starting to get dark oh no not at all maybe this swamp will be big so we can get a bunch more slimes i would sure i'll be sheep but i get black wool Oh, acacia, uh, savannah, Blech. It's an acacia biome. Which, uh... Oh, really? Yeah, you don't get anything from it. Yeah, they're pointless now that witch spawn normally. Remember, this is like the only place witches could spawn. I don't understand the point of witch huts. I'm gonna take the cauldron, though. It's like six iron. Still. Oh, oh, oh. What? We need a savannah, don't we? Savannah, Savannah plateau, plateau M. M or so yeah, Savannah M plateau. Ooh, go all the way to the top of that one on the left. That looks amplified and then flat on the top. Yeah, I don't think that looks quite amplified enough. I don't think so either. I think it's but... just normal Savannah. Yeah, it's just normal Savannah plateau. Are you on the left one though? No. I'll go climb it just to be safe. Go under it. Where'd you go? I'm on top of the first one you see. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh, I see you. I 
I'm gonna beat you there. You're just gonna. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Savannah Pacho M! Oh, oh wait, I'm already in it. Never mind, I beat you there. <laughs> I was standing. You didn't even see it. I don't have that one as a written down one, but you say it's on your list, right? And of course it is, because oh. it's here. Oh, this Sweet! So is that all the Savannahs then? It should be. Oh, gosh. Oh, awesome. Got... Yay. Do you see that village? No, I don't. Okay. Villages I village notice can south. spawn in savannas now. They've, they've always been able to since they made savannas. Yeah, but I didn't actually know that until I looked on the Avius map and was like, oh my gosh. There's a lot in savannas.